guys, welcome to another episode of Moving to Maryland. Today, I'm here with Tressa, Caitlin, and Megan. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello. And today, we're going to talk about some of our favorite restaurants in Harbor East. Now, before we get into it, if you guys want to learn more about Harbor East, check out the link in the corner of the video, and you can check out the Harbor East episode. All right, let's just jump right into this. Tressa, what's your favorite place in Harbor East? My favorite place in Harbor East is the Lock Bar. Why? Uh, I love the atmosphere there. It's um, very bright because it's waterfront. Um, good vibe. It's chatty. Um, the food is fantastic, but it's got it's casual. It's also right at the base of the Four Seasons Hotel, so you've got a lot of people traveling, which is always fun to talk to new people coming to our city. And it has an awesome outdoor space facing the water. What about you, Caitlin? Taliata is by far my favorite restaurant uh, in Harbor East. They have excellent pasta and steaks, anything that you might want, and an excellent wine selection. As and well. a great courtyard. Yeah, the courtyard, the courtyard is, is awesome. perfect in the summer. It's really nice to sit out there. And great servers. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the service also is out of this world. <laughs> what, it's called the Atlas Courtyard? or Atlas Quarter. Quarter. Yep, Quarter. yep. And in there you have Monarch, um, the Elk Room, Italian Disco, and Taliata. So a little something for everybody. Yeah, well, we will circle back after talking to Megan. What's your yeah. favorite? So my favorite is the Charleston. Mm -hmm. uh, we went there, my husband and I went there for the first time um, just because I think uh, one of our friends recommended it. It was like highly recommended. And boy, not only was the food good, but like you, when you go to the Charleston, the service there is ridiculous. Like the atmosphere is fine dining. Like the food's amazing, but really like having like, I mean, we only go there very occasionally just because it's, it's a little bit more on the pricey side but they know our names they know us they're like how are you how have you been like it's you don't get that many places so yeah i have a hard time so i love tagliata i love uh having you know uh hanging out outside before dinner um going in and then the, the different choices uh, after dinner there are the restaurants right off the quarter there um waterfront uh if we're eating sushi we like azumi which is on the waterfront then you got Maximum, uh, mm -hmm. you know, good Spanish food. Um, it was the first restaurant we took uh, our son Flynn to after COVID when things opened <laughs> back up. Uh, Lock Bar, just the same reason Tressa likes it. Uh, waterfront, casual, good seafood, good lobster roll, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Italian food? So for me, like Italian, I'll go to Tagliata. Mm. They have some really good stuff there. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> 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 Chingale has really good homemade pastas. Like all their pasta is homemade, their sauces are homemade, and they do this thing. Well, I don't know if they still have been doing it because I haven't been there in a little bit, maybe the last couple of months. But they used to do this thing called the uh, Nonos Corner, uh -huh. and you can pick a, an appetizer, a pasta, and a dessert, and it was a pre fixed price oh, nice. for those nights that you feel like having just pasta. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I like the environment there too. So, mm -hmm. like, that's eight days a week for you? No, actually, I <laughs> eat that much pasta. But. Um, what yeah. about you, Caitlin? I mean, if the question is Italian, I mean, you know, Taliata. That's yeah, it for yeah. me. Um, but I can say also not Italian, but Azumi um, has really just been a standout for me recently. My husband and I went out there and we did the omakase menu, which oh, yeah. is like the chef's tasting. And it was so spectacular. And the timing of the meal was excellent. And we were like, not too full. You know, sometimes you mm -hmm. do like a 10 course tasting and you feel like you need to roll out mm -hmm. of there. It was just, it was the perfect amount of food in the perfect time. I can't recommend it any yeah. more highly, honestly. So little fun fact, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but we did uh, at Azumi, we had a couple friends and we wanted to do that tasting menu. But we realized it's not anything different from the actual menu. So cheaper wise it'd be better to order all the special rolls off of the menu and then order like a uh the 14 like sushi or sashimi platter and it's actually like cheaper the same price as the omakase mm. now that's a pro tip right there <laughs> and if you're going with the group they recently put in that um the flame room which i haven't had the opportunity to do yet but it's really cool i would mm. love to get a group together yeah, and go fun. do that that's that would be really idea. really fun yeah yeah so, you know, we, uh, what, what's cool about Harbor East, like we like Chews. It's been there. It's a little more affordable sushi. Um, there's the uh, place with the loud music. Um, come on. 
Sushi uh, place. The loud music. With the loud music? Come on. Raw? Raw? raw. Yeah. yeah, raw. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it had loud music. They do uh, have loud music. I think they do yeah. a good happy hour there, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, raw. We, 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 you know, I haven't been there in a while, but but we like raw. When you want something upbeat, mm. like happy hour. You know, I'm not mm-hmm. a big drinker. I don't drink at all. So, But uh, when I did, like, we would go to raw a, a bit. It was kind of like a nice yeah. mm-hmm. loud music. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, what's cool about Harbor East is you have uh, some casual places. You have Taco Fiesta, one of the first restaurants mm-hmm. in Harbor East. Yeah. I knew Jerry. Uh, I ran into Jerry when he was looking at Harbor East. I knew Jerry from 1991 in College Park. Oh, wow. He had a Taco Fiesta. The menu's the same, too. It's, it's just <laughs> a timeless, like fast casual Ta- mm-hmm. um, you know, Mexican food. That's- it keeps it very fresh. All the food there is really fresh. They make their own chips. Uh, can't go wrong going there and they have really great drinks at the bar too that's it, my it, recollection yeah <laughs> <laughs> the drinks not the food the remember drinks. that yeah. <laughs> so we love italian disco pizza oh, yeah. mm-hmm. right there in the atlas quarter uh-huh meatballs i mean oh, they, yeah. and they do karaoke and my wife can actually sing pretty good so. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah my it's favorite fun. like uh laid back place um is the Harbor East Deli. I was just going to oh, say, I can't forget about the God. deli. <laughs> that is my favorite place. Like they're open till like past midnight on certain days and they're the best. They have amazing pizza. I love their fries and they have the absolute best honey mustard I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> I will go there just to get those packets of their honey mustard. That's a strong endorsement. <laughs> what about your, uh, in Harbor East, your favorite Lebanese restaurant? I think it's the only one, the <laughs> Lebanese tavern. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, they I've never really been, food, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we've really been going food. there. For it's very years. healthy. There's a lot of vegetarian options. Yeah, um, great fish, and really nice people. The people that manage or work there are awesome. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love Uzo Bay? And then I do Uzo Beach. I love Uzo Bay. Yeah, yeah. their I, food is exquisite. Best lamb chops anywhere. Mm-hmm. Just um, really professional environment always play nice music in the background the lighting's great it was one of their first restaurants and it's probably really my favorite as far as ambiance goes yeah yeah, yeah. also really high quality fish like yes. if you're a person who likes to eat Dorado. whole fish yeah like that's the it's place good. for it it's really good yeah and when it's uh when it gets nice in this spring to mm-hmm. eat outside and then oh yeah cruise over to the uh, Uzo Beach is, yeah. is pretty cool. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the cruise over is just mm-hmm. a walk across the pedestrian lane <laughs> for everybody yeah. who wants to go. Cruise across the street. <laughs> yeah. Like 20 feet. <laughs> what about um, any other places we haven't talked about? So I absolutely love Monarch. I take anybody who, like we just had friends come up from college to visit us a couple weekends ago and we took them there. And we... On the weekend? Know, yep, on the weekend. I So I love their food, but for me... The whole thing about Monarch is the um, entertainment experience of it. So I will only take people or really go on the weekends when they have shows. Um, But the whole premise is like they're a burlesque like restaurant. So when we took our friends there, um, you know, they're doing like these acrobatic tricks with her body. And then she literally was like, clear the table and on our table, put the chair and started doing or yeah, put the chair and started doing handstands and fl- i'm like this is insane like where else Down, can you downward get this? dog on your table <laughs> um <laughs> no not really but <laughs> some sort of uh yoga move entertainment or, right yeah yeah, yeah. no it's like yeah, the warrior. dinner yeah. and a show i mean yeah that's, it really that's is there for. we went to a birthday party there it was it was spectacular it's so cool the, yeah the, the yeah. food there what about um i mean we haven't talked about the bygone oh, oh yeah that is view. the best view it's yeah. a great place to Anywhere. take clients or people from out of town there's mm-hmm. no view like it. And it looks beautiful there. I mean, it's just really done in excellent taste. Yeah. Um, great cocktails. The whiskey bar up there. Yeah, the like, whiskey. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a big whiskey drinker myself, but people that I have taken there. You don't have to drink whiskey up there, by. but I mean, they, yeah. they have, you know, they, yeah. they have all these whiskeys, but it, it's, a, it's a full bar. But what's nice about that room is it's uh, kind of like private. So you can have like a birthday party up there, which I've been to quite a few. I think I might have had a birthday party up there at one point. So, um, yeah. And if you like kind of the club environment too, like if you're looking for somewhere to go to like a high end kind of club late night experience, oh, yeah, they like do the have bygone is really, really great for that. If that's the scene that you're yeah. looking for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Also for live music too, um, since we're on that, uh, the Keystone corner has right, great jazz uh, live jazz. Yeah. It is such a cool experience. I've, I don't, I've actually never seen jazz before until going there, mm-hmm. but it's a really cool time. 
And that's we used to cool. love Roy's that, that closed down. During oh, yeah. COVID. And um, that's going to be the new steakhouse. No, it's Fleming no, Spot. The right Fleming. Fleming. Fleming Spot. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, what's going yeah. on at Roy's? Anybody know what's happening there? I don't there? know. I don't know. Something, Not sure. something good, I'm sure. Uh, but the new steakhouse is called the Ruxton. Yeah. yeah. That's the Irish be place. Exquisite. Just reopened. James Joyce. 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 Yeah. That yeah. That's a good time. Great place. Yeah. Can't forget the Hagen dazs Oh, yes. Classic. <laughs> Classic. It is good. So that's what makes Harbor East Harbor East is like literally you have so many choices. And I, I still, there's a bunch that we haven't even really talked about. The, yeah. the other thing, too, is you're right next to Harbor Point. You're right next to Fells Point. Mm -hmm. um, right next to Tressa's Little Italy. Mm -hmm. You can't make a bad move. No. <laughs> yeah. And it's no. all like. You really can't. Serious walking distance. Like it's, you just. One you know, if you're like, oh, I can't get there. Let's move on to the next one. Restaurants yeah. right. um, in the whole city. And I trust, I think it would be one of hers is La Scala's. Mm. Literally, some people might even call it Harbor East. It's literally on the edge of Harbor East, right? Uh, yeah. It's a half a block away. <laughs> <laughs> like, the ideal night is to have dinner at La Scala and then walk over to Atlas Quarter yep. and have drinks and pop around there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's a variation of a. Of I'll a be great doing that night. Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that your? Uh, yeah. Is that your Start plan? with the espresso martini from La Scala, and then. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, you know when you live in Harbor East, there's there's no row homes, although they're they're close by in Little Italy and Fells Point and uh, Upper Fells Point, Butchers Hill. Uh, living in Harbor East is all apartments and condos, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Chris yeah. and I used to live in Spinnaker, and we loved living there, honestly. Because you've got everything right there. They just put the Whole Foods mm -hmm. in where yeah. the Liberty is, so that's extremely convenient. Um, yeah. It's easy living, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Very fun. And when Come. you guys, that's the attraction of living there. It's just all of that, all of those choices. I mm -hmm. mean, every night you could have a different great meal, fast casual, really high end, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, your anniversary, yeah. uh, just going out for drinks, uh, going to Little Italy, and... Cruising on uh, Tressa's uh, mapped out tour. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're all real estate agents. Tressa, Megan, Caitlin, myself. Uh, if you have any interest in checking out uh, any of the spots in Harbor East, uh, reach out to us. Our contact info is in this post. And we'll talk to you soon.